To represent realistic finishes and digital displays in your 3D models, you'll want to take advantage of both decals and appearances. Now, the biggest difference being that appearances are intended to be repeated to cover all faces, like this wood grain finish on the desk, where a decal is a single discrete entity, like this orange photo or a digital display. I need to add a logo to this computer, so I'm just going to go to the Appearances Manager, to the Decal tab, and right-click to add a new decal. This is a new logo, so I'll browse for the image I've found, and you'll have to change the file types to see image files, and then just select the face where you want to apply it, and you'll see a preview. Now this face has some curvature to it, and so the software guessed that I would want a spherical mapping, and so if it, you put it on there and it doesn't look right, just go to the mapping tab to adjust it. Each one works a little differently, but label works perfectly here. I'll just flip it around and set the size. If the image and the geometry are the same size, you can just auto fit. Existing decals can be dragged and dropped quickly, especially if they're commonly used. And decals don't have to take up the entire face either, like these stickers. And if you compare that to cutting physical geometry into the model, this is very fast and efficient to build in the geometry and display in the assemblies. So if you have large assemblies and with complex parts, try to use decals instead of complex geometry whenever possible. Creating a custom appearance is similar to creating a custom decal, but the appearances are always going to repeat. So try to find or modify an image you use so it repeats cleanly from one instance to the next. This part has some rack teeth cut into the back, but this is just a rendering model. So instead of cutting it, I'll just add an appearance of gear teeth, and it's going to look really nice as it fills in, a nice even display of these images from just a few teeth on a small image. If you're going to be doing a lot of these, I recommend creating a dedicated folder to store the source files and the decal or appearance files to make reusing them quick and easy and sharing them across the entire organization standardized.